Open Tech Studio. I am now joined by Mandla Mbunambi. If that surname sounds familiar, his younger brother will be uh, representing the Springboks uh, this weekend against Scotland. Uh, I would love to talk to him solely about that. Uh, we won't have a chance, unfortunately. Uh, Mandla is representing African Knowledge Solutions. And uh, I think, firstly, thanks for joining us. Uh, we do appreciate you taking the time. Thanks so much. And uh, how's your Open Tech Summit been so far? It's been very much uh, grateful and then uh, now uh, too much of an insight and knowledge that we've been acquiring here. Mm -hmm. So it's, a, it's a, a step in the right direction and uh, for one to, to be here. Great stuff. Um, so I must admit, I hadn't done my homework. Uh, a bit of Afri <laughs> African Energy Solutions, what are you guys all about? Oh, African Energy Solutions, uh, we are a tech business. Mm -hmm. uh, we provide services uh, like a testing as a service. Uh, digital transformation, we're doing cloud readiness and mm -hmm. infrastructure services, uh, security as a service, and then uh, managed services integration, consulting and uh, enterprise solutions where we're housing all the enterprise solutions and then providing the end-to-end -end solutions and also the integration. Great. So the alignment with open text is almost perfect. Yeah? It's very much perfect. It's a, it's, it's a magical marriage. Great stuff. And uh, what is kind of your objectives here at the event? What are you guys hoping to achieve? We, we are here now to also now start to acquire the next generation of tools and technology that Open Text has uh, uh, been working on mm -hmm. and then now looking into how to embed them into our solutions and services and that which we provide for our customers. Oh, great stuff. Uh, I think one of the main themes that has been discussed uh, throughout today has been AI and the workforce. What is well, what are uh, your customers kind of asking you guys as regards AI? Is it something that you guys are actively looking at? Uh, what's the thoughts there? We're actively looking into the AI space and then uh, with the current um, embankment on the AI um, internship that we're currently running mm -hmm. and then now uh, building the workforce of the future. And then now uh, there is no doubt that now no one can deny the impact and the benefits that are being derived from the uh, AI, so we're also looking into the AI space and also into how to help our customers now from uh, upgrading or leveraging on that technology which now Open Text has uh, improved on. All right, can you perhaps expand a bit more on the internship program? You mentioned readiness and kind of future proofing the workforce. What are your objectives there? It's now building the total skill, a whole skill. Uh, basically from the ground up training the AI specialist that now will come and go into the market and provide the AI solutions or helping an organization now to uh, transform or adjust into uh, the, that transition of uh, the AI capabilities within their processes. All right. Are there any kind of, I guess, key or core skills that you guys are looking at within the AI space? I know it's it has been around for a while, but right in 2023, there's been a real uh, further to kind of get as much AI into your in environment or your business as possible. What are you guys kind of prioritizing as far as skills development in that space? Well, possible? what we prioritize now is uh, basically now your your basic technical uh, acumen or qualification mm -hmm. like your IT degrees and then some of the engineering degrees because now it's, it comes much easier sure. to be able to to build up onto that technical skill because now you're going to need the likes of uh, programming and, and then now being analytical and technical as well. So that helps actually uh, basically uh, a step uh, a step into the uh, right direction in terms of now building the foundation on that. Great stuff. I have been asking a few of our other interviews uh, this question just around micro focus. The fact that Open Text has now acquired them a bit recently. I know that the relationship or rather the acquisition is still in its infancy as far as what it means for customers, mm -hmm. but what has your experience been like so far? Or what does it potentially mean for Africanology moving forward? I think for us it was easier also because now we are already engaging with both uh, entities. Mm -hmm. Then we've been now with Micro Focus for the longest of time. And then now when the merger happened, then we're at the uh, uh, fairly new partners of Open Text. And then now looking at the entire ecosystem, it also made sense to us because even now with other customers of ours, then we're starting to engage with them on a fuller stack of uh, solutions and the tools that Open Text in cooperation uh, of Micro Focus uh, is offering. Great stuff. Um, you kind of mentioned the internship program, uh, engaging with customers at events like the summit. Uh, what is perhaps the next 12 months look like for Africanology as far as the company's focus as prioritizing? No, we, we're prioritizing uh, an expansion and growth and then also an in-depth uh, 
uh, capabilities that we're building around the latest technologies mm -hmm. in order to offer uh, our customers uh, the world best solution and enable them now to move and transition into the next phase of their businesses and meeting also their business objectives. I'm assuming then that the kind of Google Cloud relationship that Open Text has fostered recently is going to be a, a big thing for you guys? Come again on that one? The Google Cloud relationship yes. with Open Text is going to be a big one for you guys. Definitely, it's going to be I mean, uh, a big one for us because now, if you look at it, most of the customers and also within our portfolios uh, of services that we're offering, we also have that uh, cloud readiness. Mm -hmm. Then now being able to take the Open Text uh, solutions and then embed them or uh, uh, host them on the Google Cloud and, and opening it to our customers to do work very much. Uh, uh, seamlessly and also add more benefit, you know, mm -hmm. in terms of uh, uh, agility in our services. Great stuff. So it sounds like exciting times ahead for Africanology. Very much so, and then uh, it's uh, both uh, exciting and uh, anxious times uh, sure. because now you don't know what the future holds, but then now we definitely know what we want to achieve in the future. So we're pretty much uh, excited and confident that now, together with uh, in our partnership with Open Text, and uh, there are bigger things to achieve, not only on our soil, on our soil, but then also beyond our borders. Stuff. That's good to hear. And I guess in the more immediate future, you have a, a few rugby matches to enjoy. Uh, <laughs> best of luck to our boys, and yeah, hopefully your brother can bring him another one. No, we hopefully, and I'm very much confident in them because now I know that, that they have their heads in the right place, and they have their hearts in the right place. Surely we're going to see the, the change, uh, and then now it should be the history now defending the World Cup. I think you're and right. And then it's coming to South Africa. Thank you, Mandela, again. Appreciate you taking the time, and uh, hopefully we can chat again in a year's time and see how African technology is doing. Thank you very much. We're looking forward to that. Great stuff. Thank you. Cool.